The bright lights of Las Vegas as it's HIMSS 2018 as we're introducing you to some of our Commonwealth Alliance members. Scott Adams here. Time now to hear from Change Healthcare and their Executive Vice President and President of Network Solutions, Chris Joshi. And Chris, so what does Change Healthcare specialize in and what specific contributions have you guys made to improving interoperability nationwide? Thanks. Uh... It's great to be here. Change Healthcare is uh, one of the largest independent healthcare IT companies in the United States. Uh, we are also a founding member and service provider uh, of the Commonwealth Health Alliance. Uh, as the core service provider, we provide the infrastructure, the open APIs, the record locator service, uh, and the patient matching algorithms that makes Commonwealth possible. In your estimation, maybe some of the, the, the big picture nationwide challenges when it comes to interoperability. We've learned a lot in the last five to seven years uh, about interoperability, but we still largely operate as different silos of data. Uh, the problem with uh, interoperability right now is not the technology. It is the lack of adoption of open standards around data, around consent, and around interfaces and we're trying to work with the Commonwealth uh, Alliance partners to try to address all three of those challenges. Well, as a founding member, what would you like people to know about Commonwealth that maybe they don't know? I would like people to appreciate that Commonwealth truly is a collaboration between competing uh, stakeholders that came together and rose above their uh, competitive interests for the, for the national good uh, of interoperability. I'd also want people to know that Commonwealth is growing fast, uh, adding uh, over a million new patients uh, every month and over 200 new organizations every month. Well, maybe taking a quick peek into the future, perhaps, maybe five, ten years, where you think maybe the, the landscape may take us. So I'm really excited by the support that we're now getting from uh, regulations uh, for interoperability, particularly the 21st Century Cures Act, uh, following up with the new proposed TEFCA regulations. We support those efforts because they will make interoperability an expectation and not an op uh, optional uh, feature. I'm excited about that. And that is going to open up a whole new area of innovation. And I think that innovation will dramatically improve the consumer experience of healthcare, both clinically and uh, in a financial sense. All right, well, let's take a look maybe now backwards because being a founding member here now uh, five years, something that maybe you're most proud of that, that you've been able to, to see through? So I'm really proud that uh, we were uh, among the coalition of the willing that came together and put aside our competitive impulses uh, to create uh, a true interoperable open uh, in network. I'm also proud that uh, we've built an infrastructure that is truly secure, scalable, that uses the best open standards like FHIR, and that is fully set up uh, to meet the emerging needs uh, out of TEFCA and other regulations. So I'm proud to be here, and I think after 20 years of trying, uh, I feel we'll finally go the last mile uh, to the patient, and we couldn't get there fast enough. Oh, that's awesome. One of the founding members of Commonwealth is Change Healthcare, and for more on them, you can always log on to our website, that being commonwealthalliance.org. Thanks so much, Chris.